Okay, we're back live here at the Velocity Conference in Santa Clara, California. This is theCUBE, SiliconAngle.com and Wikibon.org's flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise, and that's what we do. We talk to everyone we can. We go to the events and we find out what's going on. We track the keynotes, we, we find out what's going on with the players here and find out what the stories are and what the, what the sentiment is. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, analyst uh, at Wikibon.org, and we're breaking it down for you. Dave, day one, I got to say that Velocity Conference is more of a cloud show than what it appears. But I think it's not a cloud show, it's a web performance show with an app design on the front end tied to the back end, a DevOps show, a new kind of cloud show. So I, I put it to you, Dave, what's your take? Do you agree, and what's your assessment of the Velocity Conference day one? Well, I think, I think there's no question, John, you're right on, that, that cloud is an adjacency to this event, and, uh, and actually I think you know, I'd like to see more enterprise players participating here. Why? Because the development community is critical to the growth of the enterprise, open source. Listen, it all comes down to one thing, John, and that's mobile. <laughs> and whether it's mobile apps, you know, mobile apps in the cloud, scale, it's all about mobile, mobile performance, and, and, and actually getting those applications to run well. Of course, where are they going to run? They're going to run in the cloud. And I think that's a big focus here. That's the big shift that we're in the middle of. Um, Mobile apps you know, run poorly relative to you know, laptop apps uh, or browser-based apps, and mobile is the future, and you're going to see all the action there, but I think you're right on. I think cloud is really the big opportunity for this event to expand. Yeah, and I think the other thing I want to share with everyone is, is that this is SiliconANGLE and uh, Wikibon the Cube, and we have a uh, business relation with, with O'Reilly Media, and O'Reilly has been such a great franchise and brand and bringing the cube to their events has really been been a fun thing for us and Dave I got to say that you know this show is breaking out into the mainstream I'll give you some examples but this is classic uh, to me O'Reilly community a really great community of, of thought leaders and real developers the the insiders the guys making the industry happen but what you're seeing here is we heard on the cube today state farms here other enterprises are starting to come in this is clear you see this every time Dave in the trends the breakout trends always have that core community at the center of it for pulling the market, crossing the chasm, and when you start to see the technology, the methodologies, the philosophies, the, the, the mindsets cross over to mainstream in the enterprise, you know it's making it. So that's why I think it's more of a cloud show than, than it meets the eye, because cloud has to take into account security, SaaS, design, and DevOps is, is it's in the middle of that. So, you know, I got to say, O'Reilly has that core community that's from their franchise with the books. You can shop and buy all those, like 35 books on DevOps, Theo uh, told us. Um, so again, O'Reilly has that core community. And this is a tight-knit community. These people know each other. The hallway conversations are just as good as the sessions. And that's what's happening here. And I predict that this is going to cross over into some sort of cloud show, because cloud is where the action is. I, I don't care what anyone says, cloud is morphing. It's not cloud as in, oh, Amazon, hypervisors, infrastructure as a service, or platforms as a service. It's about business value, outcomes, and solutions, and that's what developers are focusing on. So I think this conference, Dave, is going to morph into that app focus, and that's going to back end and sister up with the cloud. Yeah, I think you're right, John. I mean, I think that, you know, the, the, it's, here's the thing about this the show, Velocity. The discussion here is how do you solve the really hard problems on the web? Things that Google is doing, things that Facebook is doing, Akamai uh, and, and, and the like. Uh, Google gave some evidence today that the internet is actually going faster, but I think the consensus everybody agrees, including Google, we had Google on theCUBE, still not fast enough. And now you inject mobile into the equation, it's going to slow things down even more. So, Web pages, the average web page size we heard today is 1.5 megabytes. We heard from uh, some folks on theCUBE that uh, from a gaming standpoint, the average gaming web page size is 50 megabytes. Um, we heard JavaScript is just being, you know, JavaScript uh, creep, I call it. Um, so the, the underutilization of too much code, you're loading too much code, there's a lot of inefficiencies. That's the kind of discussion that you have going on here. And frankly, I think the, the escape key could be hit uh, and I think this show could really drive more into the business value impacts. I think they're just touching upon it, and I think it's huge. I mean, think about John. If you could, the, the the guy from the Obama campaign, Obama for mm -hmm. America, said that they were able to achieve a 14 percent 
conversion rate, 14% higher conversion rate by speeding up their website. And that meant 30 plus million dollars out of 250 million dollars in contributions. So we're talking about real business value here. So I think that's where the discussion really needs to go. And I think that's where it's going to evolve to. My summary, to wrap this up, Dave, it comes down to this for Velocity Conference. What people need to know is this. Mobile will no longer be, oh, it's mobile. Mobile and the web will be one. That was a sound bite we heard earlier. We're not going to, just mobile is there. It's mobile first, mobile everything is the web. That's going to be completely standardized. Web performance is critical. The perception of speed is everything. Um, fast pathing to the right experiences for the right app. It's a user experience conversation in context to design and infrastructure. That's what Velocity is about. Finally, you want to get under the hood a little bit, Dave. You're seeing stacks develop where tooling is moving up the stack. No longer, this guy has this part of the stack, this person has this part of the stack. You're seeing JavaScript owning the stack, other people owning parts of the stack, developing their own stacks in real time. Monitoring is big, application monitoring, database monitoring. Monitoring and analytics are everything. And finally, th what Theo pointed out, which has been coming as a repetitive theme, is that existing workflows within large businesses in IT are changing and need to be completely reconstructed. Throw away your old workflows and look at building your own. Very prescriptive, people need to just get the playbook. So that's kind of where this is going. Very, very disruptive, very, very relevant to private cloud, public cloud, and agile application development for mobile, social, and big data. So I think Velocity kind of brings it all together, but it doesn't touch upon the Strata content. So that's my take here at Velocity. Uh, Dave, any final words for, from, for you? Go Bruins. <laughs> okay, we are calling that a wrap for day one. This is John Furrier and Dave Vellante at uh, Velocity Conference live in Santa Clara, California. We'll be back tomorrow for day two. So come to siliconangle.com, look for the blog posts. Go to youtube.com slash siliconangle and find all the content up there. This is a wrap, we'll see you tomorrow.